Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today's high-end makeup review is actually on the original Beauty Blender. I've never tried out an actual Beauty Blender before. Um, is it worth the 20 bucks? If you'd like to see my first impression and a little demonstration, then please keep on watching. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, hit that notification bell. I upload a video every single day of the week and I don't want you to miss any. So I did receive this um, original beauty blender in my Lenny box. Um, that video went up on Sunday. If you haven't watched it, I will link it down below so you can. Um, so the original beauty blender retails for $20. And I did a little bit of research, and um, it's got a 4.7 star rating out of 5. So it does have a very good um, overall rating. I know that there is a whole bunch of people that, like, this is the OG. This is, you know, amazing. Um, I have tried the Real Technique sponge. I've tried the Echo Tools, and I love the Echo Tools. You actually get two sponges for $10. Um, so this is more than double the price for one sponge, but I'm excited to try it out um, I never thought I would be trying it out just because it is such an expensive product um, So first impression of this is that it's very very squishy and it's very dense. This is dry just brand new out of the package it Smells like a sponge um, What I do like about this though is that you can um, pop off the little lid after you're done washing it and you can dry your beauty blender. So that's pretty cool. I'm gonna have to put this in a special place because uh, Castiel, my big 30 pounder, he uh, loves to eat beauty sponges. I'm gonna be so angry if he eats a $20 beauty sponge. So yeah, anyway, so it did come with a little card. So you're supposed to um, remove it from the canister, check. Um, you're supposed to saturate it with water and squeeze it out and then you're supposed to towel dry it um, and now your beauty blender is ready to use and you're supposed to dip it into your actual foundation and apply it. So let's go ahead and go get it wet and see how big it gets. Dry. Let's see how big it gets. Brand new and I know with brand new sponges it can kind of take a minute for it to get saturated and get big. Still very, very hard. Very, very hard. I don't know, it doesn't seem to be puffing up at all. Okay guys, I got a feeling this is gonna take a minute, so we will be back um, as soon as I feel like it's as big as it's gonna get. Okay, so... It took a good couple of minutes. Guys, it is really, really dense still. Um, yeah, so far I'm not impressed, um, but I mean that could totally change, but it's really dense. Um, so I'm going to be using a foundation that's like one of my holy grail foundations and really, really hard to mess up. I'm going to be going in with the Stay Matte um, Foundation by Rimmel, and I'm just going to squeeze a little bit out onto my lid here. Okay, so let's go ahead and see how this original beauty blender works. Okay, so gosh, I just cannot get out of how like dense it is. Okay, so you're supposed to dip it directly into it. So, ooh, this just feels so wrong. I'm so used to like dotting it on. Okay. I don't know if you guys can hear that. It is so hard. I mean, it's blending out fine, but it's like so dense that it's like leaving kind of like little stamp marks. It did seem to make that one little bit go pretty far. I still got quite a bit. OK, 
Okay, now I'm just gonna dip the other end so I can get around my nose. Know, maybe it will be better after I wash it. I don't know. Oh, this is just so hard. Holy crap, guys, my arm is getting tired. It is taking a while to get this blended in. So freaking hard. Oh my god. Um, I do have to say I didn't use as much product as I would, thought I was going to. So that's good. The tip is nice for getting around the nose area. I'm just gonna also try a little bit of this underneath my eyes. Shoulders like burden. I want to actually hurt in my eye when I dab it all over my eye lid. Oh gosh. Okay, I think that's pretty well blended out. Okay guys, so cool thing I have to say is that it did spread the product. Um, you know, I didn't use as much product as I dispensed out of the tube. Um, so that's cool. It did blend out, you know, eventually it did blend out pretty evenly. I don't see any more of those stamp marks. But. Okay, so guys, that is the pros, is that it made the um, foundation, it did go pretty far, um, and it did blend it out. Um, but guys, I just have to say from a first impression standpoint, I am not impressed at all. I've always seen like, oh, this is amazing, and, and everything, guys, it is super dense and super hard. I mean, it's just dense, and it's it hurts to blend it out over your eye. And I mean, I wasn't going in very hard, okay? Um, but it, it hurts, it's, it's too hard. Um, I can already see too, like the butt of it, it's like already starting to kind of peel up. So I don't know how this is gonna survive the first um, washing. I had a Real Technique sponge and I washed it one time and it like disintegrated. So, um, but guys, I, all these years I felt I, Felt like I have been missing out on being able to try the amazing Beauty Blender. And guys, I am not impressed. I am not a fan. Um, I will definitely have to try washing this, maybe give it another go. But so far, yeah, I'm not impressed with it at all. It's $20, and you can get such better quality sponges at the drugstore. My favorite is the Echo Tools. Um, I also like the cut better of the original green little Echo Tool sponge, but this is, yeah, not impressed at all. Um, honestly, if you've never tried a Beauty Blender, um, unless you're just going for the name brand of it, I wouldn't, I would suggest saving your money. Um, I would suggest going out and getting a Real Techniques, going out and getting a Echo Tools. Um, they are half the price and so much better quality. Um, yeah, I am not impressed by this at all. And I'm glad I got it in a beauty box that cost me $19.99 because I can think of this that I paid for this and got everything else or I got this for free. So, um, but yeah, not impressed by the original beauty blender. I am going to give it a good wash up and dr try drying it and seeing if, you know, maybe that will help. But it took a really long time for the water to absorb at all. To me, it doesn't look like it, it expanded any and it's just really, really dense. Not a fan. I'd say save your money, get a dollar or get a drugstore sponge. I think you'd be much better off. And 
yeah, super disappointed with the Beauty Blender. So yeah, guys, um, make sure that you leave your comments down below. Did I not get it wet enough? I stood there for probably a good two or three minutes, like getting it wet underneath the sink. And yeah, super disappointed. Um, also leave down below, um, do you love the Beauty Blender? Um, is it like your Holy Grail beauty sponge? If it is, tell me down below, how can I make this work? Cause I have it now and I would love for it to work out, but so far, honestly, I don't know if I'll be ever reaching for this again. Um, I'm definitely gonna try it out, but I was so unimpressed that um, if I wasn't trying to try it out and make it work, I probably wouldn't be trying it again. Um, and guys, if you did enjoy this video, I don't do very many negative videos, but this was a first impressions. My first impression is that this is crap. Um, but if you did enjoy this, then please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Also make sure that you share this video. I know that Beauty Blenders is old and everyone and their mother has made a video about a Beauty Blender, but um, yeah, I, yeah, not impressed. I'm super disappointed, but, um, and guys, um, make sure that you guys follow me on my other social media, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and Snapchat is all at Budget Glam Babe. And I will see you guys tomorrow for another video. I hope you have a great one, guys. Bye.